Okay, hey, good morning, good afternoon. This is Stereo Police, back with another video. Um, this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to start out my shop here and explain um, the the great Dakoff of 2017. And um, well, long story short, I have come up with uh, a stereo system that I consider to be one of the best I've ever had, the most satisfying. I'm going to put this uh, on a tripod here. One of the most satisfying uh, stereos I've ever had. And um, as a result, uh, being so darn happy with it, um, I decided to experiment with DACs, digital to analog converters. I've uh, been using a uh, Sonos system, then I upgraded to a DAC Magic 100 um, a couple years ago, and because it was, it seemed to me to be better than the Sonos. And now that I've purchased a couple of new new speakers and a new amp, things are just so awesome that I thought maybe it's time for an upgrade uh, with respect to the DAC. And um, so I selected three DACs, and all of them come with a trial period where you can return them if, if you don't like them. Uh, and so the three DACs I selected are, um, let me get this a little closer here. And I'll explain to you what this, what this is in a minute. Uh, I selected the uh, Shit Bifrost Multibit, the TAC NT503, and the Benchmark DAC3. And I have the shit DAC here. I have the TAC hooked up. Of course, I, I own the DAC Magic. Uh, I own the Sonos. And uh, the um, benchmark DAC 3 is going to be delivered today according to UPS. So I will have that. Um, the DAC Magic that I own is about a $200 item. The shit by Frost Multi Bit, $600. The TAC is about $1,000. The benchmark is about two thousand dollars. The Sonos, I don't know what they sell for these days, um, three or four hundred bucks. But the Sonos has a built-in DAC. It's a mystery DAC. No one exactly knows what it is. You know what what chips they're using, and so forth. Um, but the Sonos also puts out a PCM digital signal that will bypass its internal DAC, and that's going to be the source of my music uh, while I compare these DACs. So, that having been said, what I plan to do is do um, comparisons of all of these DACs, including the Sonos. I figured I was going to exclude the Sonos built-in DAC, but why not? Why not go ahead and give that little DAC a chance against these big boys here, right? And I'm going to do tests where I compare each of these one by one to the other in a blind test. The way I have the cables hooked up is I'm not going to know... Uh, which inputs to my amp is going to be coming from which DAC. And as I do the blind test, I'm, on, I'm going to do two and two, two and two, two and two, in a progressive way. And the winner of uh, the winner of the first two is going to go up against the next one, and so on and so forth, until I get to the DAC that I like the most. And I'm not, I don't know all these fancy terms that uh, audio reviewers use to describe sound. It's very difficult, to it's often difficult to describe what you hear. But I, what I am going to do is I'm going to put them in my own words. I'm going to, as I go back and forth between whichever two decks I'm A being, I'm going to rate the bass, the mid, the treble, the dynamics, and just an overall kind of take it all in and which deck do you enjoy the most kind of thing. I am going to be using four songs to listen to during each comparison. They're all rock. I listen to rock and roll. I listen to some jazz, some classical. Most of the time I listen to that stuff, it's just background. Uh, but I'm a rock and roll guy, I, uh, and I've chosen four rock songs that I've checked on YouTube that they won't, uh, uh, um, they won't give me copyright issues with. Um, uh, Another Brick in a Wall Part 2, Pink Floyd, Driven to Tears, The Police, Sultans of Swing, Dire Straits, and Who Are You by The Who. I know that these songs, here's why I chose these songs. I've been listening to these songs since the late 70s, early 80s. 
That's a clue to my age, okay? And I've listened to these songs on every single stereo system I've ever owned. And that's lots of gear from then till now. I know how they sounded. I know how they sound to different gear. I also know that these are fairly well recorded songs. Uh, some of them have been remastered and they're just excellent. And I know that they cover the you know, range of bass. Like the bass on another brick in a wall is phenomenal. That's really going to be a test, okay? Uh, the treble, I love the Who Are You, uh, the remastered version, listening to Keith Moon's drums and cymbals, and just, they're just amazing. And I can compare different voices. You know, Sting has got a, of the police, has a very different voice from, uh, um, uh, 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 I was going to say Pete Townsend, he isn't, what's his name, Roger Dalton, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so I know these songs can give me a wide range of comparisons A, B. So that, enough of that. So you get the idea. And then one thing I'm also going to do, and this is my introductory video here. I'm going to make this into a multi-part video. Another thing I'm going to do is after I'm done, and again, I'm going to compare A to B. I'm not going to know which is which. I'm only going to know at the very end. You know, uh, so I'm not going to be biased by cost or by brand name. If the Sonos internal DAC beats all of these things, I'm not going to know until the test is over. Um, and I'll, you'll see as we go along. Um, what was I going to say? There was one more thing. Um, oh yeah, so I'm going to do this listening and this rating myself. I'm not going to show this uh, on camera. But what I am going to do for each comparison, when I'm all done, I'm going to pick one song put on my good, uh, my good microphone um, and um, let you be the judge yourself. I'll give you the best mic I have and uh, I'll play one of these songs and I'll do an AB, a blind AB. And, uh, and then uh, to the best of your abilities given the limitations of, uh, you know, of, of recording this from speakers onto a microphone and uploading to YouTube, you still may be able to get some idea. Um, and then you can, and then I'll, and then I'll reveal which you've chosen. I'll reveal which I've chosen, and then we'll go to the next level, the next level, until we get to the best DAC. And then just to make sure I'm not propagating some kind of weird error, at the very end I'm going to take the best and the worst DAC, and I'm going to blind those two together, uh, just to see if something is really screwy. So, um, you know, it's a quasi-scientific kind of thing, um, but it ought to be fun. And I was going to do this, you know, all by myself and, and pick my favorite DAC, but I figured this is so cool to have all these DACs in front of me. Uh, why not make a video? I think someone would appreciate that. Um, so, uh, let's go. Uh, let me take you to my listening room and show you my equipment and that I'll be using, and then we'll kind of dive into the first uh, test. And, by the way, for the first test... I am going to compare. Um, uh, I'm, it doesn't price doesn't matter. It's not going to matter at all because again, it's going to be blind. But I'm going to start out with uh, uh, Sonos versus. Yeah, I'll just pick side by side. We'll just go down the, the the way I've done it on the spreadsheet here. We'll go Deck Magic versus Bifrost, and then the winner of that will go up against uh, Tiac, and the winner of that will go up against Benchmark. And then the final winner will go up against Sonos. So it doesn't matter. The winner goes up against the next one. And whoever keeps winning, keeps winning. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to leave my bench here. And look at this mess. There's the box for the TAC. Um, there's the Bifrost uh, shit box right there. And here is the listening room. And zoom out a little bit. So what you see here is you see the, oh, I didn't tell you what equipment I had. These are Klipsch Forte 3s. Um, I have had all kinds of speakers over my life, and I, I have tended to favor horns, except horns have some limitations. Uh, their strengths are amazing, but the limitations can be very bad if they're not done right, but these Clip Schwarte 3s, when I first heard them, I just could not believe it. They are that good. The best mid-range horn I've ever, ever heard. You wouldn't even know they were horns. 
Um, and my amp is, is, and I love this amp, is my uh, Yamaha SA, or I should say AS 1100. Um, it's an amazing design. It's a MOSFET um, outputs, and if you dig into the design, and I've looked at the schematic of it just to be out of curiosity, it is unlike anything I've ever seen. From the schematic of the amp circuit, it is just unrecognizable. I don't know what they're doing or how they're doing it, but it works. It's just phenomenal, and it's really, really rugged. The back panel, I'm not going to pull this out, it's just beautiful. It's got VU meters. Everything is great, so enough of that, enough gushing over that. There's my Sonos. Mm, here's the DAC Magic. Here's the TAC, and again, the benchmark will be delivered today, so I don't have that in here. Oh, where's the shit? Hang on a second. Oh, there's the shit right there. Okay, so here's the shit. Uh, and again, I'm going to be starting this process with the DAC Magic versus the shit. So I will go ahead and, uh, and what I, uh, just to explain, I'm going to be splitting the digital signal, uh, um, PCM output of the Sonos and running it one to one device, one to the other. And then I have the analog uh, cables, the stereo left and right pair. Uh, they're the same kinds of cables. They look identical and they run down to the um, inputs of the uh, one of them is going to be CD, one's going to be tuner. And with my remote control, I can flip back and forth between CD and tuner and hear the, the two DACs. Um, if there's a bit of level discrepancy, I'll have to compensate for that with either, uh, like the TAC has, uh, allows you to control the level, output level. Some of them don't. I'll have to do it manually with the volume control. And because the analog cables look identical, I'm going to kind of scramble them up and I'm not going to sh know which analog cables I've plugged into which. So when I bounce between tuner and CD, I'm not going to know which DAC I'm listening to. So I can kind of uh, have an unbiased um, analysis without considering, you know, uh, looks or price or company name or anything like that. So that's what I hope for. All right, so I'm going to get uh, the system set up right now. Uh, for the DAC magic versus the shit and dive right into uh, part two of this review uh, with of this review um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this video and make a part one and uh, and I'll do a different part for each comparison and then probably a final one for summing things up so stand by <laughs> 